To practice the regulative principles of bhakti yoga, one should, under the guidance of an expert spiritual master, follow certain principles. One should rise early in the morning, take bath, enter the temple and offer prayers and chant Hare Krishna. According to Vedic principles, one should rise early in the morning, take bath, chant Hare Krishna, offer Mangal Arati to the deities, study Vedic literature, take prasad, and engage in dressing and decorating the deities. Suchi means all is clean, internally. Bhajya abhantaram suchi. Inside and outside. Outside by taking bath, washing his Soda, soap, or if soda soap is not able with earth or oil, uh, that is external cleanliness. Similarly, internal cleanliness. One must rise early in the morning, evacuate, uh, and then after taking bath, must chant Hare Krishna mantra, uh, see the Mangaladri. Every devotee should take his bath early in the morning and decorate his body with tilak. In Kali Yoga one can hardly acquire gold or jeweled ornaments, but the twelve tilak marks on the body are sufficient as auspicious decorations to purify the body. So this is it. Now I'm starting my chanting. So you must be very careful. Test. If we cannot rise early in the morning, that means we are under the clutches of Maya. This is the test. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore says, Jivi Jago, Jivi Jago, Gurachanda Bale, Koto Nidra Jao Maya Pishachi Kul. Sleeping is very dangerous. It is to be understood. That I am under the clutches of Samma. The more we sleep, because the symptom of tamogon is laziness and sleep. This is the symptom of tamogon. Laziness and sleeping. It's now almost four o'clock. Uh, my wife will be waking up soon. So what we do is that. When she comes up, I go in the room and I chant with this, it's a counter. Why? Because our son is still uh, waking up about twice during the night because he sleeps with my wife and he still is uh, breastfeeding. So uh, he, as soon as my wife gets up, it just takes maybe 10 to 20 minutes for him to realize and he just wakes up. So while my wife prepares, uh, you know, she will be preparing the RT set and everything. I, I go in the room and make sure that he sleeps. So I'll be having Mangal Arti. Simple theoretical book knowledge is not sufficient for a neophyte devotee. Book knowledge is theoretical, whereas the archana process is practical. Spiritual knowledge must be developed by a combination of theoretical and practical knowledge, and that is the guaranteed way for attainment of spiritual perfection. The Mangala Artrika ceremony is the first worship of the morning. In the Artrika ceremony, a light is offered in circles before the deities, as are conch shell and flowers, and a fan. The Lord is supposed to rise early in the morning and take some light refreshment and give audience to the devotees.
So normally the RT lasts about 15 minutes. And then I come back and sing the Narishima prayer. So we do not have Tulsi, but uh, I sing the Bajan. The vibration of Krishna's flute is the origin of the Vedic hymns. Lord Brahma, who is seated in a lotus flower, heard the sound vibration of Krishna's flute and was thereby initiated by the Gayatri Mantra. So after Mangalarti, he says when I go take a walk, sometimes I just walk and chant Hare Krishna and sometimes I I run. Maybe those of you who've been following for some time, you might know that I had cancer before in 2011, I got cancer. Then about two years ago, I got tuberculosis. This is the reason why I came, uh, we came back, you know, we opened a temple with my wife up north in Hanan province. And uh, we had to come back because I got tuberculosis. <clears throat> Actually, since I'm young, I have a very weak health. Uh, always falling sick. I realized that by sweating a little bit and making the heart pump helps a lot. No need to run actually, but a, a walk. You know, Prabhupada said anyone can take a walk after Mangalarti, you know, go and, and chant and walk or just walk. And uh, he says if a man does that, he'll be healthy. I have to go back into the room at 5.50 so that my wife gets some time to prepare the morning offering and all because of our son he's still not used to sleep alone he still wakes up about twice a night you know even though he's now one year and nine months it's not easy you know the, the worship should go on the mangalarti should go on you see my wife she's got to sacrifice her mangalarti so that i can do it so okay i'll be running a little bit so it's not much 15 20 minutes but at least i can feel the heart has pumped a bit i've sweat a bit you know so in this way, at least the, the body will be a bit more healthy because when I fall sick, it's a great uh, obstacle to preaching services. So before I used to do the Mangalarti at 5 o'clock because I used to wake up at 4. But after going to uh, Malaysia, where I got the very nice association of His Grace Vrindavan Prabhu, I saw his example and I wanted to get up earlier because Vrindavan Prabhu, he wakes up at 1.30 in the morning, he chants his rounds and he's the only full-time devotee there at the, at the farm, so he must do pujari and cook for the deities. Then he's engaged whole day, physical work, watering the plants, you know, taking care of the land, taking care of the cows. I haven't really seen him take a nap, just a power nap, you know, on his chair. He goes to bed around 10, 10.30 at night. He sleeps maybe four hours and it's 24 hours. And he's engaged whole day in physical work and he's more than twice my age, I'm 31. So I asked him some advice, you know, and he was saying how nice it is to chant very early in the morning. So this is the association of sadhu. You know, Prabhupada said that, you know, you're together in the temple and you see all the devotees wake up. You also wake up, even though you're really, really tired. You don't want to be the only one sleeping. I've realized that sleeping less actually has boosted my immune system. Prabhupada said it, huh? a man who wakes up early in the morning and takes a cold shower would be healthy. So we have to be regulated, we have to find what kind of uh, schedule is befitting for us. Uh, and also how the husband and wife need to help each other. That is very, very important. The wife's duty is to take nicely care of the children, you know, arrange the house nicely, keep everything clean. In this way it's very much easy for the, the husband to have his sadhana input, to have time for preaching activities. And the wife is benefited for these preaching activities. So I'm back home, I have changed. 
my goatee, I change a new t-shirt. So it's my turn to go in the room and my wife will come out and cook the morning offering. So when he wakes up, I'll try to clean him up a little bit. Next thing we do once my son is awake is put the bhajans, bro, pat bhajans all day. We always try to keep a, a spiritual vibration. The first bhajan I put every morning is uh, Shishi Guru Astaka. And as soon as my son hears it, he wants me to hold him and dance. Let me see. Huh? Huh? Best friend. Paditra Madhyan Manasura Sena. Ah, yeah, the clouds? Oh, the mountain. Wow. Where's Krishna? Krishna is everywhere. Krishna is in your heart also. Huh? In your heart. And Krishna is there also. Jagannath. Jai Jagannath. Jai Jagannath. And where is Krishna? Where is Narashim Hadev? Jai Narashim Strong Narashim. Then while my wife finishes cooking and offering, I try to play a little bit with my son. Okay. Where's the ball? Camera, wanna kick? Kick. Wow. <laughs> so I've chanted eleven rounds since I woke up this morning until now I still have five rounds left normally, normally I have uh, three chanting time during the day so when I wake up I chant uh, then you know carrying my son that counts as one as the morning one and when I wake up from my nap I try to chant another few rounds and in the evening before going to bed I try to chant another few rounds uh, so I just try to chant, you know, attentively as much as I can. I don't want to be doing anything else while chanting, simply chanting. And that's it, so five rounds left. The breakfast is almost ready. Uh, and during the breakfast, I always listen to Prabhupada's class and just let it play like that also. The whole day I leave Prabhupada's classes on or bhajans. Body 
We often give fruits to our son before breakfast. So then I say, wow. Say Jai. Say Mama. Papa. Sri Vigrahada Dhana Nitta Nana Singharatan Mandira Marjanada Jutascha Bhaktang Chanijanya Topi Vande Gura Sintara Narabindam Jutascha Bhaktang Chanijanya Topi Vande Gura Sintara Narabindam So my wife finished cooking, so I'll be offering. Okay, little boy coming here again. They're proper. Oh, yeah. The background on my computer is proper as though it's feet. Every time he sees it, he wants to touch and he tells me to touch also. So that's it. So now it's offering. After that, we'll be on doing Prashadam. And uh, during Prashadam, we'll listen to a class. And after Prashada, my wife will start to cook uh, uh, lunch. And normally I take care of him. Sometimes I, I bring him out about for about one hour or so, or I play with him here, or sometimes he watches some uh, English educational video, you know, to learn English on the TV. If he watches on TV, then I get some time for my service. At the moment, the service I'm doing... I am putting all the verses that are found in the Dr. Zakir Naik video. We've made a video some time ago concerning Dr. Zakir Naik. You can see there's the video. Okay. So, yeah, Papa. Papa. Ah, Papa. <laughs> yeah. So, all these verses. I'm... Oh, yeah, Bebe. Papa. Okay. So, I'm putting it in a format which we can share with all the devotees. Now the problem is that many of those verses actually I found that were they were misquoted. Some of these verses I found online, you know. Wow. Ah, wow. Shlabia Sadev, Narada Muni. Wow. 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 <clears throat> Here, this is a verse that I found um, online. You see, so in the beginning of the world, self-existent God revealed the Vedas, which are eternal and divine. They're the source of guides of all human activities. So it was quoted as 12, 24. I found out that actually the first line, the first line in the beginning of the world, self existed and God revealed the Vedas, which are eternal and divine, is actually Mahabharata. Shanti Parva is 12, yes, but 224, 55. And the second line, uh, due to my research, I found is actually from the Kurma Purana. And uh, this is actually the, the line that I found, and there's one word different that is Buddha, so this has to be revised. <coughs> so that's the service I'm doing at the moment. Krishna. My son really likes to see all of those paintings, the beautiful paintings. Actually, we saw them so many times, but when we zoom in and we start to look at the details, there's so many things to look at. It's amazing. Oh, mango. 
Give to Krishna the mango. I'll take to Krishna. Oh, Krishna got the morsel of sweet rice here in his hand. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Krishna is killing the demon. Demon Denuka. Bah, killing them. Hmm? Jaya Shodamai. Jaya Shodamai. You take Prashadam? Chatur Vidhasi Bhagavat Prashadam. Sadvana Titan Harivaka Sanghan. Turbidasi Bhagavat Prasada Sadvarna Tritan Haribhakta Sanghan the following is a class on the Srinath Bhagavatam. So while we all under Prashadam, we listen to the class. Anyway, that sun was meant for killing. Was a student of Dhanacharya. So we finished eating about 10 minutes ago. Uh, now, so my wife will be starting to cook lunch. And uh, one thing my son likes to do is to play in the water. So we just let him play. And I just opened the door here. My office is in the small temple room, so I just sit there. And I can keep a, an eye on him.